So I treated him by pushing up through his leg with his hip in uh, about 15 degrees of adduction. We did that for five minutes. And his pelvis is much more symmetrical now. We looked at him when he was on his back just a minute ago. Top of his pelvis is much more symmetrical, as is the bottom. Sacrotuberous ligament, I can now indent slightly. So that's more normal. It was hypertonic before. And now you can see I can take up the slack. I see movement happen through his whole body and then I can add additional force. I can thrust it and it springs forward and it recoils downward. And the same thing in terms of going inferiorly. I push to a stop point and then I thrust it bounces and it recoils. I see his heel bob up and down and then here is anterior rotation. So I can take up the slack and now I can spring it and it springs forward and bounces back. Okay, let's have you on your back. I'm surprised at how much more symmetrical your pelvis is in yep. response to that. Good. Yeah, because the anterior pelvis was remarkably uneven. Hmm. Um, it's, it's, still, it's still slightly uneven. Um, but I can take up the slack and I can spring it and it, and it springs forward and it recoils back. So we've restored motion and so I'm more interested in motion than I am in getting perfect alignment. Um, if, if he has motion in all directions but an uneven pelvis then that means that it's developed that way. So you grew with asymmetry of your pelvis, which is not uncommon, mm -hmm. okay? And legs are still symmetrical. I'm curious to know how you feel when you walk. Okay. So let's have you step down and walk. And we noted earlier when you were walking, um, we noted, I don't want to say it, I don't want to prejudice you, but we noted reduction of arm swing on the right. And that's still happening. So that did not change. Okay. So go ahead and walk one more time. So the upper body is probably contributing to that. And I'm curious to know how you feel. Feels good so far. So far, so good. Okay. Is there is there a difference? Um, hard to say at this point. Okay. As fresh it is, I, I probably just need to go about you know for you know the rest of the day and sure and see what what might trigger it or not trigger it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Well, I'm pleased that we were able to gain motion, so I'm glad to know that you don't have a pathologically fused sacroiliac joint. Yeah, me too. Thanks.